Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for September 18th through the 24th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Swords. Now, there's something painful at play somewhere, but I feel like it's not coming out to the surface much in terms of I feel like it's not really, really, really feeling like it's affecting you. But I kind of get the sense that here and there it does. But let's see. In the recent past, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups, the Four of Swords. Now, how is that possible? Um, because <laughs> you're showing me love, and then you're showing me disconnection from love, and then you're showing me that you're healing that. So that could be possible like this. Um, you're feeling disconnected from your emotions. You're feeling like you're not feeling much. Um, but you know your heart is there where it should be still filled with love still but you don't have access to it so that could make sense that okay i'm realizing this i'm gonna go heal that so working on opening up your heart okay or to your heart all right we'll leave it as that because that would make sense to me because otherwise it's like love not love heal anyways uh in the current situation the knight of pentacles the sun the two of cups Huh, you are heading in the direction of love. There's another person at the end of that. There's happiness along the way. That tells me that your healing works. Okay. In the immediate future, the Three of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Swords. What? Leave it to Gemini to fuck with my head. Um... You're working on something here, but you don't believe it's going to work out. You're working on bringing something together or back together, but you don't believe in it. You don't believe that it's going to happen. All right. Let's clarify. Let's do this. Let's go in deeper. You, you did this just on the surface level here. Now let's go deeper. All right. Let's do this. For the Three of Swords, you get the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Cups, the Eight of Cups. Oh, Jonah, Jonah, Jonah. Uh, you're bouncing in and out, in and out of your heart, in and out of connecting to yourself, to your needs, to your wants, to your heart. Um, and you're doing that as you're deciding what to do next, basically, because I see you looking at options, looking at possibilities of, you know, where your next step is going to be at and things like that. And then there's so much overthinking in the way that though, let's say you have five options of going somewhere. Those five options turn into a hundred overnight with so much overthinking here. Um, and that, that's just going to keep you disconnected. You know, this whole paying attention to what's going on here, um, is just going to keep you in a place of disconnection from your heart and it's just going to create pain. It's going to add pain because the, the more we, we are not in tune with our heart and the more we're disconnected from our heart, our heart is going to go through pain. It's going to be like, Oh, I'm abandoned again. I'm not, you know, Okay. It's not going to hold a grudge or anything, but it's definitely going to add on to some pain there. Um, wow. Okay. Let's do, 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 do the Queen of Cups there in the recent past. Seven of Swords, Nine of Wands, King of Wands. Hmm. Hmm. Let's do the Eight of Cups. Eight 
the nine of cups, the eight of wands, the four of wands. Let's do the four of swords. You get the Four of Swords again, the Moon, the Three of Wands. Oy, 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 oy. Um, hmm. Oh man, this is such a blank space because I see you... Uh, well, I see your heart beating in a particular direction and guiding you in a particular direction and there's one person there. And then I see this big ass blockage. Now I don't know where the blockage was from, if it was from them, if it was from you, I have no idea. I just see you not responding to it. You know, like, okay, I really love this person, but I'm gonna pretend I don't, or I don't wanna love them, or something like that. When you, th this is when this whole madness started, this whole disconnection started. Uh, it didn't start there. I'm sure it started way earlier, but this was supposed to reveal this to you. You know, the way you're disconnecting from your heart. Um, and I feel like it didn't. Man, you shoved it down big time. You just... I'm not going to respond to how I feel. Big time. Um, and there was a lot of, you know, happiness in there. There was a lot of fantasy even about what could possibly happen here in a very good way. And I feel like you've been trying to heal ever since, but you haven't touched the root of this. You haven't really gotten to the place of realizing, hey, you know, by doing this, it's not that I rejected the person or it's not that the person rejected me. It's that I rejected myself. I rejected my connection to my own heart. You know, my love for myself. And again, I see you've been trying to heal that for quite a while, but not getting the gist of it. The what actually happened part. You know, it's not about another person. It's not about the world outside of yourself. It's about what's inside of yourself. That's the most precious thing and the most important thing. Uh, let's do the Knight of Pentacles. The Sun, the Knight of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. I like this because you are heading in the direction of happiness. Um, your mind frame, frame is set in such a way at this point at least. So that's what the healing got you to this point is that um, you've become possibly very positive about where you're ho heading, who you'll find there, what's going to happen, you know, things like that. So you're definitely giving me a storyline of, I'll get there when I need to, I'll find whoever's right for me, but really believing that. Um, and I'll be happy, you know. Slowly but surely, you're definitely heading in that direction. For the sun, you get the Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Is there a potential here for something? I see there may be a potential. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We're getting into the problems. Okay, so there might be a potential here for something or someone, or there's 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 this energy of hmm, this is catching my eye, uh, and it definitely fits to your idea of what could be, what could happen in the in the future there for for you and whoever this is. Now, when it comes down to manifesting this into reality and making it happen, there's so much deception in the way, and there's so many energies that are not allowing for this manifestation to come through. And guess why? Well, let's go back to the past here. What happened in the past during your healing there? Did you actually reach that place of self-love? You know, did you get back in touch with your heart that you decided, okay, because this situation isn't going to work out, fuck it. I'm just going to stay shut down for business. Um, not realizing that you're actually hurting yourself, not anybody else, not the person. Not, not anybody else but yourself. And that left you staying pretty much disconnected from your heart. All of that 
And again, I see healing. That's where this positive outlook is coming from. Um, but not really getting to the bottom of it, not really getting to that source of understanding, hey, I'm hurting myself, so I need to get back into connecting to my heart. Uh, you didn't do that. Yes, the healing helped you place, place yourself in here. But when it comes down to it, and even though it's a new person, whatever it is, a new situation, the unhealed energy is still there. Your disconnection is still in the middle of this. So you're manifesting from a place of being disconnected from yourself. So it's like asking from the universe. The universe always delivers. But you got to put something there for the universe to deliver too. You know, so it's like asking for love, but your heart is shut down. So logically, you wouldn't accept love because you're shut down. There's nowhere to enter if it's, you know, no, no, no crossing, no nothing. So I'm not even sure if the universe is going to even bother to send this energy your way, knowing that you're closed. Um, so it kind of goes back to you connecting back to your heart where eventually you're going to have to do that because no matter how much you're healing, no matter how much you're growing, no matter how much this uh, positive outlook is, and again, it's great, but you're still going to come back to the same issues where situations are not going to be working out because they have nothing to work out with, you know? So it all comes back to your heart. Um... Let's do the Three of Cups in the immediate future. The Six of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Tower. Ooh, let's do the Seven of Pentacles. The World card, the Strength card, the King of Cups. And let's do the Ten of Cup, the Ten of Swords. The Page of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords. Well, as predicted, and again, if this is the work on getting back into the connection to your heart should start now right now if this is the beginning of something i'm kind of anticipating that it's not going to start now because you're going to be focused on whoever this is not on you but along the line here if you don't start doing the work then let's go through this shit show uh things are going to go back and forth a lot from, oh, this could work out. Mm, I don't want it to. Mm, but yeah, it is working out. Mm, let's make something nasty happen. Uh, or, you know, things blowing up in your face. And then, oh, you know what? I just don't want to work work it out. I kind of want to focus on me and my heart. And then being like, mm, maybe we should be friends. Or maybe not. We'll see how that goes. In here, I don't see you acknowledging, hey... Maybe I should go back and try to figure out what the hell happened there and when this connection to my own heart was lost and to my own sense of self-love. Because without that channel open, you won't be able to manifest this into what you want it to be. But again, kind of getting the idea here that if something is brand new and it is opening up and it's kind of like, oh my God, this looks like it could be something, your focus is not going to be on you. Who does that? It's like, no, let's chase butterflies and shit. Nah. Um, I would suggest do it now. Otherwise, this is what's next. You know? A little bit of a roller coaster -y kind of ride. And I don't, I'm not sure if you miss that. <laughs> I'm not sure if you want that for you. Like the in and outs, the oh, I love you. Oh, no, I don't. Mm, let's block you. Mm, let's blah, blah, blah. blah. Uh, uh, let's be friends. Mm hmm. Because that always works. You know? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, let's see what the universe has. The Nine of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Chariot. Yeah. Um, I kind of get the sense that you're a little bit stuck in your head about this because I, I see you wanting to get back into that connection to yourself. And it's right there. It's it's right there. All you have to do is shut this down. 
<laughs> and I know it's hard, but all you have to do is, okay, mind, thank you for your assistance. Take a, take a bow, but please leave me alone for at least five minutes to find what I need to find here. And then I'll, I'll get back to you, you know, um, cause the universe is kind of showing me it's right there for them to access it. This whole sense of connecting back to themselves. Um, but the mind is interfering. The mind is in the way. So interesting reading. <laughs> I have a headache almost. I feel it coming in. Thank you for that. Um, but that's what I have for you. <laughs> Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.